Yo, it's Silent. Welcome to my channel. Uh, we're going to be playing some Resident Evil 3. Okay, I've been watching a lot of people play it, and it looks fucking great. It looks amazing. The very first opening scene really got my attention, and I honestly have never played the third one, or the old, uh, the original, I should say. I was around when it came out, you know, and I... Uh, so same thing with two and one and you know i just never really the the very first one i played i think was two and um it freaked me the fuck out i think i was way too young to have like actually played it because before that you know games were just happy-go-lucky you know like type of games with like cutesy characters and you know, like Mario, you know, platformers and stuff like that. That was the type of games I was used to. And then I got, I, I remember specifically, I rented, I rented it from Blockbuster and I brought it home. I put it in my PlayStation. I didn't even get to play the game. All I did was watch the cutscene, and the cutscene with the zombie head turn. As soon as the zombie head turn happened, I literally remember just turning off my TV and fucking running out of the door crying to my mom i couldn't believe it like i was such a bitch you know like now that i'm older it, it's uh it's different you know i've now that i've been desensitized to gore and violence and fucking zombies and shit um you know now it's i can go and play this type of shit with no problem now my favorite genre is horror you know so it's it's interesting how that transition happened but anyway Let's fucking dive into this shit, man. Yo, this hits too close to home right now. Look at that, she's even- what? Don't use the Q word, man. Commitment, honesty, integrity. These are the core values that create the foundation for Umbrella. I'm sorry, but this is too much of a coincidence. That will continue to build a brighter future for all of us. Like, what are the odds? We're going through a global crisis right now. And Capcom just decides to drop this shit on us. The timing couldn't have been any better. Like, I'm not going to get all conspiracy on you, but I mean, it's kind of sus, not going to lie. I feel like this game is low-key making a statement, you know, don't trust pharmaceutical companies. Alright, so we just waking up, it's 8.07 p.m. Yo, who goes to bed with their shoes on? She's uh, well-read, it seems. She even reads the newspaper. She's well-informed. Uh, close this shit. I like Jill, man. She's got she got some good taste. Her apartment's a little shitty, but I mean, she makes it work. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's an oscillating fan. I was gonna say, like, what good is that fan doing? If it's just pointing at the wall. I have no idea who any of these people are. Um, I haven't played the remake of 2 yet either, so I really don't know what the fuck is going on. So, this is completely blind for me. Is that Jill right there? Is, is Jill a mom? Spooky. Can we leave? I know, I know. They want to 
want us to go in the bathroom. Oh. Oh, hi. Hey, Jill. I can't be surprised at this because I've seen it so many times. I mean, I'll let you guys know when I'm seeing something fresh for the first time. But yeah, when I first saw this, it was it was fucked up. Imagine just decomposing right before your very eyes. saw that calendar there's only one one goal on that calendar and it's escape raccoon city she's got some fingerprints photos mug shots and some actual mugs yeah nothing but chaos on tv hmm guess we should turn on the light eh jill's report September 26, 1998. It's already been two months since that mess with Umbrella. Thanks to this suspension, investigations haven't progressed exactly as I hoped. Perhaps this written record of what I've found will prove to be my final duty as a STARS officer. I can only hope that it helps lead to the truth. The T-Virus. Those infected by this virus seem to become literal zombies. It appears to be communicable via several different avenues outlined below. Bite from an infected individual, allowing the mixing of bodily fluids. Contact with crows, which have eaten infected carrion. Due to the strength of the virus, airborne infection cannot be discounted. It should be noted that those who survived the incident have not yet developed symptoms. It's unclear whether this is because the virus has a long incubation period or because we just happen to be res resistant to the infection. We ought to remain vig vigilant even after this investigation period ends. Wait, hold on. Because isn't the, the C virus, not the T virus, isn't the C virus, doesn't that have a long incubation period as well? This is just too much of a coincidence, man. This is like blowing my mind right here. Um, as for me, aside from my minor difficulties sleeping, I seem to be in fine shape. Still, I shouldn't get too hopeful. After all, this could just be an extended incubation. Oh, that's a bummer. Let's see what else is going on over here. Investigation notes. Pharmaceuticals company, industry leader in market share, focuses on military weapons development while maintaining cover as a pharmaceutical company. Also secretly developing bioweapons. T-virus outbreak at Arklay Mountains Research Facility predicted the mansion incident. I'm pretty sure that's a callback to something. Uh, conspiring with Raccoon City leadership. Large donations to Mayor Warren's office effectively controls the city. I guess that's it for notes, right? Uh, what's this? So I'll, I'll do the voices so it's not as boring when I read it, okay? So here we go. They've got me pinned down at home. Guys across the street are watching me from the window 24-7. Are they Ironsmen? Umbrellas? I don't know. And there's no real difference anyway. I know what they're trying to do. They want to wear me down, torment me into compliance, and it's working. I'm barely eating, barely sleeping. I'm going crazy. I feel like the living dead. 
But I won't let them win. I have to get out of the city and find a way, way to make them accountable. They'll send someone to silence me, of course. If you hear that I've been killed, or whatever it is they do to people like me, you must pick up the investigation where I left off. I've enclosed my files. They'll tell you everything you need to know, as long as this package isn't intercepted. I'll be moving out at night. Five days. Wish me luck. All right, whoever you are. Um, let's see. What else? Got some pizza here. Message from a colleague. To Jill Valentine. Hey, hot shot. Okay. Hey, hot shot. How you holding up? I still can't believe Iron suspended you. It's such bullshit. He ought to pin a medal on you for making it out of that hellhole back in July. Of course you're going to poke around and ask questions about it. I hope you're not mad at me for keeping my head down. Everything's been happening so fast. Stars was the pride of the force. When the chief disbanded us out of nowhere, I thought for sure I was going to lose my job. Word has it you're planning to leave Raccoon City. I figured you wouldn't take the suspension lying down. Just promise to watch your back. Umbrella won't sit by while you try to dismantle their business. Take care, Jill. Brad Vickers. Stars Alpha Team. Now and forever. P.S. I had to slip this message to the pizza guy to avoid detection. Enjoy the extra large mega meat supreme. It's on me and the guys. I'd like to give... Jill, the Mega Meat Supreme. Let, let me stop. Let me stop. Okay, let's this could turn off the water. Real quick. Did, this is some PT vibes right here, man. All right, let's turn this light on. Stop playing around. The water was running. Look at that. You all right? You better than all right. You fine as hell. Damn. Great transition. I've seen it so many times, but it's worth pointing out again. Who could that be? Hold up. Let's see, what do we got in the fridge? Who's... It just lets you look in the fridge for no reason at all. What if we just never answer the phone? Hello? Jill, are you okay? Brad, is that you? Listen, you gotta get out of there. What are you talking about? I don't have time to explain. You gotta get out of there right now. All right, let me grab my... Ah! What was she about to grab? That's the biggest mystery of all. At least broken ribs, at least. Why would you wait there? You saw what he did to that wall? What's with all this shit in the hallway? And damn, what people just moving in or something? And thank God that person doesn't lock their apartment when they leave home. Oh no! My man's is... Oh, he's done, he's done. I don't, I don't know what to say to that. Oh shit. Dropped in like the Hulk. Oh no. Oh no, and the booty shot. Ten minutes in and it's already tentacle porn. That's gonna be rule 34 it's so hard. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Let's go. 
Let's go, Joe. Move them buns. Move them buns. Oh! I've seen that so many times that it still got me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There's no way to run faster. I mean, I know you just got fucked up, but come on, let's let's go, let's go, let's go. This is like uh, The Last of Us almost. This is what this reminds me of. Still? Over here. Just all the chaos and shit. You okay? What was that thing? Damned if I know. But right now it's got a hard on for the only two stars left in town. You and me. I'm not sticking around. It sure does have a hard on. The longer we wait, the more screwed we are. I saw that tentacle. I don't know what Arclay was. Hey, hey, wait. Down here. Shift to run. Okay, there we go. She's still hurting. What is he doing? Did you just think those were regular people? Like, what? He has bad situational awareness, this guy. Let's go. Come on, Brad. This is a bad time to be checking her out, but hmm. Uh, 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 oh no. Oh, how many headshots? Oh, we only have two bullets. Let's not fuck around with that. Let's just go. <laughs> oh, let's go. <laughs> just came out the school bus like, hey. Uh, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Can we close it? Okay, but how do they even know like I'm somebody special, right? sounds so familiar can't pinpoint it right now though oh I know who he sounds like now he sounds like um the imp in Hercules the animated series Sir, what's the name? animated movie Actually, be him. Actually, calm down. actually, I'm actually. Officer. I'm here to help. This is your last chance. No one else is coming for you. I'm not going anywhere. I'd rather starve to death than here to be eaten by one of those undead monsters. Now leave me alone. 
All right, you got it, pal. You can go fuck yourself. Taking your last bit of ammo, too. I ain't fucking around. Okay. Taking any chances. Ah, it's bulletproof. I shouldn't be wasting ammo like that, though. Just, just get me out. Oh. Oh. No. 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 Oh. Did I get bit? I feel like I'm aiming wrong, or maybe it just takes a second. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. It looked like I got bit there. You don't gotta tell me twice. Oh. Yeah, she has taken a beating. It's my turn, bitch. This isn't going to work, Jill. Choke me harder, daddy. What? Is like hitting a freaking a big ass tree. That tree's not going anywhere. You know? What's the point? I'm just gonna stay right here. My man, Carlos. I think we're in the clear. Hope so. We've been bringing survivors here. Here where? My guys have converted some subway cars into a shelter. It's safe. I'm fine. Personal space. Okay, I get it. Sorry, we're gonna have to go around. Hey, what do you know about that monster? But it's no zombie. It knows what it wants and won't stop till it gets it. 
Don't you like that in a man? No, thanks. He's all yours. <laughs> Listen, I promise you're in good hands. I'm with the Umbrella Biohazard Countermeasure Service. The BCS was short. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You guys are the ones who caused all of this. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you talking about? Don't act dumb, Carlos. But you don't have to trust me, but I'm going to the shelter. You coming? Why does he sound like Keanu Reeves? Kind of even looks like him a little bit. Hey, Captain. This fine young lady could use our help. Carlos. You didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name? She is an elite operative of RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Her name is something Valentine. It's Jill. Nice to meet you, Jill. I am UBCS platoon leader Mikhail Victor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. Right. How's that going for you? The city is completely cut off, isolated. Most of the hundred thousand civilians will wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. My platoon has suffered serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. Yes. Well, we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. But we need help. My men cannot do this alone. All right. I'm in. But I am on their side, not yours. Oh, hey. That's cool. We all want the same thing. Thank you, Jill. All right, super cop. Here you go. We can use this to stay in contact. I know what a radio is. Okay, first things first. We need to get you geared up. Head up to street level. You'll find supplies there. All right. Took a chunk out of you. Oh shit. <clears throat> He's been bit. Alright. Well, we'll just do like he said, go up to street level. Um, I think it's interesting. I didn't want to say anything during the cutscene, but it's interesting how the older guy, I didn't catch his name, he knows who we are already. And that's a little suspect. It could mean that, like, he knows what Jill's about and what her mission is. And being the fact that he works for Umbrella, which is, like, Jill's enemy, I have a feeling he's going to betray us at some point. Tabloid front page. In the gray of the morning on September 25th, a frantic caller telephoned the RPD to report an assault. A man described as a... A man described as disheveled like a vagrant was attacking a passerby north of the Lambs Museum of Art. The responding officers recovered the mutil mutilated corpse of a woman by some dumpster nearby. Dozens of bite marks covered her body and she had been dismembered, suggesting she had been eaten. Dozens of bite marks covered her body and she had been dismembered suggesting she had been eaten. The third known incident of its kind to occur in Raccoon City this month. So who's done it? Who's been munching on man steak? We here at News Comet have a gnawing feeling that the so-called cannibal disease patients Spencer Memorial has been providing free treatment for since August might not be settling for just the cafeteria food. Our reporters have infiltrated Spencer Memorial, asked the tough questions, and come back with horror stories 
that will make your stomach royal. Turn the page for the scoop. Of course we can't turn the page. Leave us with a cliffhanger, I see. Jill? It's me again. You topside yet? Working on it. So what's the plan? The old tank's got me clearing the tracks. You mind getting the subway infrastructure back online? And how do I do that? Let's start by restoring power. I'll navigate you to the substation once you hit the main road. Copy that. Let's do this fast. Oh, is this where I can store stuff? Okay, it kind of reminds me of uh, Resident Evil 4 a little bit. There's no place in the UBCS for pipsqueaks who crawl back to the base every single time they get scratched up. You want somebody to kiss your boo-boo? Go someplace else. Here in the big leagues, we mix our own medicine. So get the recipes memorized. Oh, is this where... We yep. Classic. It's where we save. Oh, okay. Uh, now we got a map. More survivors. We've got to get that train moving. Uh, a. Oh, and space. Oh, okay, okay, cool. Did he just try to juke me? What? Oh, shit. Do we have a knife? Oh yeah, we do. Okay. See, it looks like he... He bit me. Oh shit. Chill, chill. See... See, I don't know if they bite me right there or if they're spitting up blood. Either way is not cool, you know? Uh, what? Oh, hi. I think I should just avoid them from now. I don't have any ammo. I'm back. Really gotta make every shot count. Oh shit. What? Oh shit. Oh shit. Which way do I go? See a big transmission tower? That's the substation. You'll have to circle around through an alley to your right to get there. You mean the alley that's on fire? Maybe. Surely a tall drink of water like yourself can put out a few flames. <sighs> Fuck you. Hmm. Alright, let's, let's get a move on. Gotta put this out. Oh. That's convenient. Oh, wait, what? I can't just shoot it open? Okay, I probably need something to open it with. Let's look around. Oh, great. Oh no. No 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 no. I can't let them get me, man. I got to remember that sidestep shit.
Okay, I guess I don't have to wait for the crosshair to get smaller as long as their head is within the crosshair. What the fuck? this okay I'm assuming I have to find the combination here we go okay drugstore owner's journal this new hair tonic from umbrella is just flying off the shelves the stuff they make always works wonders so it's no surprise I was counting on this and ordered a huge shipment my instincts are paying off literally I just know sales will continue to rise as word gets out. That said, the string of violent incidents on the news has me worried. Maybe I ought to invest in a good safe to hold all this cash that's rolling in. September 2nd. The new safe is just perfect. Nobody knows the code. Not even my wife. It's a secret between me and my beautiful Aqua Cure Greek Queen. What? And she'd never give it up for a thief. Aqua Cure Queen. Hmm. I'm gonna avoid using my gun if possible. Just because ammo seems pretty scarce. I knew those weren't my fucking footsteps. Okay, forget what I said about not using my gun. I'm gonna... See, I should just use my gun. I should have just used my gun. No! 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 Ah. Uh. Um. Alright, we're gonna juke these fools. Oh! Uh, oh! Uh. Oh! Uh. Oh! I made it out. Oh, damn. Oh, am I on the other side? Oh, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I had a feeling he was going to get up. We gotta find the sweet spot. There we go. I think it's like the forehead. This shit looks like a movie, man. This is awesome. They did such a good job. Let's see what's in here. Fire hose? Oh, okay, it makes sense. I thought we were looking for like a wrench or something to open the fire hydrant. Subway employees memo. Violence getting worse and worse these past few days. Got a shotgun for when it hits a breaking point. Locking it up in the gun rack. That should keep it safe from any would-be looters while I go out and try to find some more shells. If things go south, cut the chain and bust out that sucker. I pray we all make it out alive. Say less. Okay, so I need to find bolt cutters, I'm assuming. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. I like how the flashlight automatically comes on. Hey, it's Chief Keith. Where the hell would those bolt cutters be? There. 
I mean, they just want to tease me with the shotgun. They're not going to give it to me right away. Oh. Well, would you look at that? Oh, fuck. Oh, it was the guy who was laying right here. Jill's about to die. Don't look at me like that, all right? I'm not an infected. Guys, no, 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 wait, please! No. What the fuck? Whoa. He was infected. He might have been infected. Oh, stars be soft. No wonder so many of you dead. And what are you, UBCS, killing your own people? He would have turned. There's your sense of self-preservation. Go back to the subway station. I don't need a bleeding heart like you getting in the way. What a dick. Training log. July 10th. 202 pounds slash 12 laps of the yard slash two circuits. Suck it, prison. The Umbrella Corporation just recruited me for a job. A job! Don't know how they're gonna wipe out a life sentence for murdering 20 gangbangers, but whatever. I'll take it. Beat shitting away the rest of my days behind bars. I gotta get into shape. July 26. 196 pounds. 20 kilometer run, 3 circuits. Target practice at 400 yards, 5 misses. Caught the chain yesterday and got moved to a UBCS training camp where I fired my first bullet in two whole years. Missed a stationary target by five inches at 400 yards. I never fucking do that. It's like I forgot everything. Doesn't matter. I'll get sharp again. Watch me. August 15th, 190 pounds, 300 kilometer run, three circuits, target practice at 600 yards, two misses. Okay, I got my shock grouping down to three inches. Feeling good, feeling good. After lunch, they put me through my first mock battle. The cap and the other guys are good people. And goddamn beasts of war at that. But what the fuck is up with that lunatic N Nikolai? He used me as a fucking human shield just to score some extra points. I'm assuming Nikolai is the guy that we just met who shot him. Uh, September 25th, 180 pounds, 30 kilometer run, 40, four circuits. Target practice at 600 yards, no misses. Murphy's back, baby. You'll never see me miss another target. Tomorrow I go on my first mission, riot control in Raccoon City. I think Jimmy would have liked that. My brother was always the first to reach out and help people. Right up until those street punks took him away from me. Now it's my turn to do some good for a change. The way I know best. Huh. Alright, so... Mm. Oh, he's dead dead. Okay. UBCS suicide note. The temper 28th. The Middle East, Eastern Europe, East Africa. I thought I knew what hell was. I figured I'd never crack, no matter what was thrown at me. But this job, this one was supposed to be easy. A quick wage. I'd earned it. It all happened at once. There were 30 guys in our squad, all armed with state-of-the-art assault rifles, and yet we were wiped out in less than 48 hours. I've been through enough shit to know it only ever gets worse. And if that was just the beginning, maybe I am a coward. I don't care. This is the only way out I have left. I just hope my body doesn't get back up. After I pull the trigger. Good news, buddy. Your body didn't get back up. You're gonna be alright. I mean... You're not gonna be alright. 
Uh, electricians notice. Public use generators provided by Wrecking City electricians. Due to the ongoing power, power outages, the guild has decided to provisionally place a number of electric generators throughout the city. Everyone is welcome to use them, but remember, these generators are running high voltage currents. If one were to be struck or impacted by gunfire, anyone standing nearby could get electrocuted. Mmm. Electrocuted, you say? Mmm. Gunfire, you say? Handwritten edition. You got that? If you see a generator spitting sparks, don't go near it. Don't do anything stupid. Safety first, as the saying goes. If we make it through this mess, I'll have plenty of busted generators for sale at bargain prices. Your neighborhood electrician, Sam. Okay, thanks, Sam. Thanks for the warning. Oh, oh, this would be the perfect time to... these guys don't get up like the humanoid zombies that's always scared me about the resident evil universe is that the virus can infect anything not just humans Two more slots. Facts from Substation Chief. To all employees, in response to the violent outbreaks across the city, we have implemented an international power outage. Once this situation has brought has been brought under control, please activate the four breakers ASAP. Once that's done, turn on the main power switch in the control room to reactivate the power grid. All right, we're almost we're almost there, guys. Can't do anything here yet. Oh, what? What the hell is that? Oh, oh God. Smells like. Oh, I don't even want to think about it. Let's see what's this? Green herbs. They were. It was starting to look like Chad was never gonna come back from his round, so I poked my head in there, and fuck me. Next thing I know, I got some kind of maggot squirming down my throat. I was gagging and heaving, but those little bastards didn't seem to mind none. They just wouldn't come up. I was staggering around like a madman, and then I saw it. A green herb. What the fuck? My grandma once told me that green herbs are a natural bug deterrent. So I grabbed one, I grabbed one, shoved it down my gob, and swallowed. And what do you know, the little things didn't want to be in there anymore. I've never been so happy to throw up. I'm going to head back out there to look for Chad. If anyone else sees this, remember, eat your greens. Okay. Oh, I don't like this at all. Substation internal memo. The key to the high voltage area has gone missing and the earliest we'll be back to get a replacement in is next week. In the interim, a lockpick will be provided to the senior employee on duty we only have one lock pick and cannot afford to lose it so please keep it in its carrying case at all times when you're not using it and please could you all check just once more that you did not accidentally take the key home if you happen to find it please bring it to kate and add me uh, jump scare Oh, what the fuck? Oh, hey, lockpick. Nice. Uh, I have a feeling.
Hey, you know what? Before we do that, I'm going back and unlocking that other shit. Alright, so I went back and collected all those uh, items that were in the lockers that had the lock on it. It wasn't much. It was like two spray health cans and a grenade. Holy shit. Oh, hell no. I need some greens. Oh shit. Oh come on, come on. Oh, that's fucking nasty. Yo, oh my god. Oh. Oh shit. Oh. I don't even know where I'm going. There's a dead end over here. I'm assuming this is where I gotta go. Oh no! Oh, that's so nasty. And a little hot? Oh, man. Oh, shit. Reload, Jill. Reload. We need some greens. We can't even run when we're infected. Oh shit. Where'd he go? Oh, can't see, man. Oh, that's where they come out of? Ah, oh, that's gross. Oh, yes. Oh, this couldn't have come at a better time. Oh. oh, damn, that's gross. Girl, that look like a booty hole. Oh, damn. All right, I'm almost out of here. Oh, you had to get one last hit in, huh? Little bitch. Oh, God, okay. Oh, okay, we had this, I forgot. Fully heals us. It's a good thing we went back to grab that shit. Enjoy. Why do I have a feeling that's gonna come back and bite us in the ass? Carlos, it's Jill. I've restored power to the subway. Nice going. Next up is the traffic control system. It should be in the subway company's offices. Right. I think I know the building. Really? Way to go, partner. One step ahead. Not your partner. <laughs> Alright, guys. So that's going to do it for the first episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay healthy. Don't catch a T virus or the C virus. Uh, I will be back and we'll pick up right where we left off. Alright, so I'll see you in the next one.